The Tyne Theatre and Opera House in Newcastle-upon-Tyne was built in 1867 for politician and industrialist Joseph Cowan Jr. as a theatre for the people. It originally housed a stock company who staged locally produced drama, opera, musical spectacles and pantomimes managed by Mr George Stanley. By the 1880s, improvements in railway communications made touring productions more available. And in 1887, Sir Augustus Harris, known as the father of the modern pantomime, took over the lease of the theatre. Eventually, the changing markets during the First World War and the growing popularity of the movies brought about the closure of the theatre in 1917. The theatre was then leased by Sir Oswald Stowe and converted for cinema use in 1919. The conversion work carried out by the office of Frank Matcham was minimal and the auditorium and stage were left largely untouched. The Stowe Picture Theatre opened with a screening of Tarzan of the Apes and was later the first cinema in Newcastle to show talkies. The theatre thrived as a cinema through four decades, but due to a rise in the popularity of television, the cinema was forced to close in 1974. The Stowe Theatre remained closed for three years, during which time a Save the Stowe campaign was started by Mr Jack Dixon. It was during the closure and exploration of the building that the original stage machinery was rediscovered. The New Tyne Theatre and Opera House Company Limited was formed as an independent registered charity with the aim to restore and reopen the theatre for stage performances. In August 1985, the Tyne Theatre and Opera House was upgraded to a Grade 1 listed building. Unfortunately, the same year, on the 25th of December, there was a fire in the backstage area which destroyed the fly tower. Miraculously, the task of rebuilding began almost immediately, and by November 1986, less than a year after the fire, the theatre was reopened and its stage machinery operational again, reusing as much as could be salvaged from the fire. The history of the theatre has been one of versatility and enterprise to keep the building in use. In March 2008, Newcastle City Council was able to purchase the theatre and later that year transfer the freehold ownership to the Tyne Theatre and Opera House Preservation Trust. In January 2015, a new operating company, Tyne Theatre and Opera House Limited, was set up by the Trust to operate and manage the business. The limited company is the Trust's subsidiary, and with all profits going towards the restoration of the building, together with the operating company, the trustees are committed to restoring the theatre to its former glory and raising the necessary funds to ensure that its heritage is sustained for future generations.